Welcome to module one of this online cybersecurity course. This module provides a general overview and explains the groups that pose cybersecurity threats to you and your organization, as well as the actions that you can take to protect yourself and your business. Effective cybersecurity is essential for the functioning of any organization, regardless of its size or sector. It's vital that all staff, regardless of seniority, understand their susceptibility to cyber attacks or data breaches and the steps they can take to ensure everyone stays safe online. While the primary responsibility for securing IT systems and associated technology lies with your organization, you, as an individual, have a crucial role to play. This short course will explain why cyber attacks happen and give you practical advice on setting up a robust defense, including how to report any activity that could be considered a cybersecurity incident. Much of this advice also applies to IT systems and devices in your home. Cyber attacks can be carried out by a range of individuals and groups targeting you as an individual to access your organization's IT network or systems. Cyber attacks are a serious threat globally. Here are some statistics. 50% of small to mid-sized businesses targeted go out of business within six months of a security breach. Human error causes 95% of all cyber security breaches. 61% of security and data breaches are caused by stolen credentials. By 2025, the annual cost of worldwide cybercrime is projected to rise to $10.5 trillion. By 2031, ransomware attack costs are expected to reach $265 billion annually. Cyber threat actors, including hackers, political activists, terrorists, and even disgruntled employees, pose significant risks. Each has different motivations from financial gain to causing harm and disruption. Negligent employees can also cause data breaches without malicious intent by mishandling information. We all play a part in managing the data we create and process daily. While many cyber attacks are indiscriminate and opportunistic, some are targeted. You and your organization could be targeted if your organization holds sensitive information or handles large sums of money. Being aware of potential reasons for being targeted helps you stay vigilant. This module provides tips to help you identify and deal with cyber attacks. Begin by familiarizing yourself with your organization's information security policy and procedures. Key areas to focus on include phishing. Phishing involves receiving fake emails, texts, or calls that appear genuine. These attempts may trick you into disclosing sensitive information or accessing malicious websites. To protect against phishing, reduce publicly available information, be cautious of unexpected urgency in messages, and carefully check email addresses and links. Reporting suspicious activity. Always report unexpected or suspicious activity to your manager or IT team immediately to minimize potential damage. Cyber actors may try to guess or trick you into revealing your password. To protect your passwords, do not share your password with anyone, including colleagues or even the IT department. Use unique passwords for different accounts, especially for work. Create strong, memorable passwords using three random words and adding numbers, uppercase letters, and symbols. Enable multi-factor authentication, MFA, whenever possible. MFA double-checks your identity and is used for banking, email, and most online services. Ensure your devices, including smartphones, laptops, tablets, and desktops, are secure by installing updates and patches promptly, using official app stores, reporting any update issues to IT support. Always secure your device with a screen lock and be mindful of physical security. Use privacy screens to prevent others from seeing your screen in public spaces and report any suspicious activity or mistakes immediately. And never be afraid to raise concerns about existing cybersecurity policies. 
This module covers data in motion, which is digital information transferred between locations. Protecting data in motion is crucial due to regulatory guidelines such as PCI DSS, GDPR, HIPAA, and SOX. Steps to protect data in motion include identifying critical assets and vulnerabilities, conducting risk assessments, and implementing industry standards and compliance regulations. Encryption transforms content into unreadable text without a secret key for decryption. Data masking allows partial redaction to protect sensitive information. Always report mistakes and raise concerns about cybersecurity policies to ensure business success. The COVID-19 pandemic increased remote working, which in turn increased cybersecurity risks. Tips for securing your home working environment include locking work devices when not in use, using company provided VPNs and antivirus tools, keeping family members away from work devices, applying strong password procedures, Change the default password of your router to secure its settings. Secure your Wi-Fi network with a strong, unique password and enable WPA2 network encryption. Use official app stores for downloading apps and report any security concerns to your IT support. Maintain communication with your company, especially regarding cybersecurity. Participate in personal security training and stay updated on best practices. Thank you very much for completing your course. Hopefully we'll see you on another one.